okay so students uh, today uh, i'm starting complementary angles okay so i will try my very best to cover all the important questions and concept of complementary angles so first of all we must know that what do you understand by the angle complementary angles okay you know that when a straight line is perpendicular to the next straight line then it forms angle that is called 90 degree okay which is called a right angle okay now if i join a and c what it forms a triangle which is a right angle triangle so if angle b is 90 degree then these two angle that is angle bac and angle acb these two angle when these two angles are added it must be 90 degree because as we know that in any type of triangle the sum of the three angles of a triangle is how much 90 degree a 180 degree okay so here we can see that if this angle is 90 degree then the, this two uh, angle if we get the sum it must be 92 90 degree so here these two angles are known as complementary angles clear what do you understand by the complementary angles so in uh, trigonometry now we'll discuss about the complementary angles okay so first of all we must know the formula okay so what will be the formula sine 90 minus theta when you find the value of sine 90 minus theta you'll get cos theta next cos 90 minus theta you'll get sine theta and sec 90 minus theta you'll get cos theta and uh, cosec theta cosec theta uh, 90 minus theta you'll get sec theta okay so here 10 90 minus theta you'll get cot theta and cot 90 minus theta you'll get 10 theta okay so by using this formula we can easily solve the related questions from the complementary angles okay so you have to note it down this formula sin 90 minus theta cos theta cos 90 minus theta sin theta sec 90 minus theta is cosec theta cosec 90 minus theta equals to sec theta and 10 90 minus theta equals to cot theta and cot 90 minus theta it will be 10 theta okay. okay the first problem so here the question is find the value of cosec 79 degree divided by sec 11 degree okay so how you are supposed to get the value okay so given cosec 79 degree divided by sec 11 degree so you can easily see here if we add 79 and 11 that means if you add 79 degree plus 11 degree you will get how much 90 degree so it is very clear that 79 can be written as 90 minus 11 in the similar manner 11 degree can be written as 90 minus 79 degree clear so now how you are supposed to do so you have to decide whether you want to continue the question with 79 or with 11 degree okay so uh, i am converting this 11 degree into 79 degree how it is possible you can see this 11 degree can be written as 90 minus 79 so 90 minus 79 equals to how much 11 degree so it is very clear as we know the formula sec 90 minus theta it will become cosec theta so here it is very clear cos sec 79 sec 90 minus theta it becomes cosec theta so this to cancel what you got the value one clear hey.
Okay, I think you have understood this one. Okay, let's try one more question. Okay, so here the question has given 10, 27 degree. Okay, so 27 plus 63, you will get how much? 90 degree. So you can change 63 degree into 90 minus 27 degree. Okay, so what will get the formula? Cot 90 minus theta. So 10 27 degree what you get the formula cot 90 minus theta you just see the formula what i have given in the beginning of the class that is 10 theta so what we get 10 27 degree so it is very easy oh you have got this one okay okay now we will start the next question okay Okay, now you can see this question. So that cos square 58 degree plus cos square 33 degree equals to 1. You are supposed to prove that. That means so that. So LHS cos square 58 degree plus cos square 33 degree. You have this one. Okay. So what you do is very simple. 33 degree can be written as 90 minus 58 degree okay so what it becomes cos 90 minus theta okay you can see here so cos 90 minus theta it will become sine theta so hello boys and girls if we have the formula as cos square 90 minus theta it becomes sine square theta if we have cos cube 90 minus theta it becomes sine cube theta okay so cos 90 minus theta it becomes sine theta square we have sine square 58 degree so in trigonometry you know the formula from the first and second chapter okay what you have the formula sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 so in the similar manner sine square theta plus cos square theta it becomes 1 so you can see here it will be rhs root clear okay now we will start the next question okay Okay, now we have, okay, so students, now we have question, if alpha and beta be two complementary angles, so that cot beta plus cos beta equals to cos beta by cos alpha into 1 plus sin beta, that means this LHS LS, LS and this RHS should be equal, okay. So, first of all, what we have to do? Here it is given that alpha and beta are the two complementary angles. So what do you understand by the complementary angles? When two angles are added, it must be 90 degree. That means the sum of two angles must be 90 degree. Alpha plus beta, when it added, it must be how much? 90 degree. Okay. So alpha plus beta equals to 90 degree. So it is very clear. You can see here. When we write alpha in terms of beta, it becomes 90 degree minus beta. Okay, when we write beta in terms of alpha, it becomes 90 minus alpha. Clear? Okay. So LHS, you can see LHS. What you have? Cot beta plus cos beta. Okay. So we'll keep this LHS as it is. Cot beta plus cos alpha, a cos uh, beta. Now we'll solve RHS, okay? And we'll try to make the RHS same as LHS, okay? So cos beta by cos alpha into 1 plus sine beta, okay? So what it becomes? Cos beta, it will be kept as it is. And we have to con uh, change alpha in terms of beta. 
So here it is. 90 minus beta into 1 plus sine beta. So what is our main target? The main target is to convert this to write alpha in terms of beta. Okay. So it becomes cos beta div uh, divided by cos 90 minus theta. It becomes sine theta. 1 plus sine beta. Okay. Now you can see here outside of the bracket you have cos beta by sine beta. So what you have to do? First of all multiply with 1 and then after multiply with sine beta. So it becomes cos beta by sine beta into 1 it becomes same and cos beta by sine beta into it becomes sine beta okay so cancel this one so we know the formula cos beta by sine beta that means cos theta by sine theta it becomes what cot theta so this becomes cot theta sorry not theta it becomes beta plus what is here cos beta so you can clearly see that lhs cot beta plus cos beta and rhs also it become became cot beta plus cos beta okay so this is the way how you are supposed to solve any type of question from complementary angles it's very simple in this uh, chapter the question has given the two angles okay so whenever you start solving you just first of all focus to make all the angles identical okay so in the end what you write lhs equals to rhs root clear clear everyone